Hey guys, even here, and this is your California Pro second call out. That's right, this is second call out. It's funny because this is your first call out at New York Pro. It's crazy that Cali Pro is stronger basically than New York. And it is, it actually is, quite a bit. Blessing did make a show out of New York, but basically you're gonna see Andrea Presti on the right, who was second at New York, and here he probably won't even make the top 5. On the hard left you're gonna see uh, Max Charles, who was third at New York. In the middle you're gonna see Peter Clancher on the right, my favorite, and Theo, who was fourth at New York. As you guys know, I really wanted to see Petar Klancir win this show because he is from around here, I am a little bit biased towards him but I also really do like his physique, especially in his Instagram shots on stage not that much, but he really improved his back really, really improved it, look at these details, the density, the thickness here really improved the back, especially in the back double bicep I would like to see uh, more confidence in his posing but I mean it's okay because he hasn't been competing I believe since 2016, so for 6 years this is a great comeback for Petar and he looks amazing, he does look great, this is his best, I would say his best ever and he might be 5th uh, I think he has a chance to be top 5 at this show, which is a great success, because the top 4 is really, really good, you're gonna see in a second who is there. Petter really looks good in these abs and thighs, uh, he is out angled by everybody here, again, uh, he was away from the stage for a while, so he probably forgot how to do that, and the judges are, are telling these guys to go backwards, to spread apart, and they are not really listening, they just want to look bigger, but the judges don't care about that, that's basically for, for the footage, for the, for the photos, the judges can see who is actually how big and how conditioned, so I think they have Petter in 5th, and I was watching Chris Cormier's live, uh, uh, he is standing there basically where the judges are so and also he has a good eye so his commentary was that uh, Charles Griffin is winning this show second very strong second as he says is Mohamed Shaban and third is Tony O'Burden here between Mohamed Shaban and, and Max Charles and on the right I believe this is uh, Andrea Muzi who also looks really good like he has really good legs really big legs uh, brought really good conditioning and he came really big and full uh, but uh, Charles Griffin, I think he brought the hardest conditioning here, uh, as you can see Mohamed Chaban has these crazy legs, he's dwarfing uh, Charles Griffin in that department, but he is not as hard, not as, as dense, um, <laughs> look at this Vastus Medialis, the teardrop on his, on his legs, looks just absolutely ridiculous, and uh, Charles Griffin is not exactly strong in that area, but he has some other body parts that look really good, especially from behind, which you're gonna see in a second, right now the, the camera quality is not very good but here you can see so uh, you can kind of see you're gonna see uh, some photos in a second but Charles Griffin definitely brought the best condition in here and I think he deserves this win he strategically took a break uh, from New York to, to peak here to come in better shape Tony O'Burden on the left looks amazing, crazy shape, crazy muscle bellies, small waist, uh, this guy has a huge potential I don't know how old he is right now but if he's younger or just at the beginning of his career and has more time, more, more, more room to progress, he's going to be one dangerous bodybuilder, and here he might be third. So as you can see right here, Petar Klancher was in that top 5, and things might change, you know, between uh, the pre-judging and the finals, which are in about 5-6 hours, which is a long time, things can change, if judges aren't exactly certain, they might change their mind, maybe Petar is going to be 4th, maybe, maybe he can edge out uh, Andrea Muzi, I don't really see him beating Tony O'Burden, especially because of this even though you can see Petter on the right and Tony O'Burden right next to him, even though Petter improved that back and came in pretty much the same conditioning, maybe has thicker hamstrings, still the shape of Tony's back looks just outstanding. I mean, the back itself, it's probably the best on this stage, but there are other components uh, in this back double bicep pose, it's not just the back, I mean, his arms also might be looking the best, and his conditioning is probably second best here after uh, Charles Griffin, I still think Mohamed is gonna beat him because he's simply bigger, more complete, as you can see Tonio is lacking some leg size and especially from behind hamstrings, uh, that, that thickness in the hamstrings, but back itself it's really really good and it's gonna give him a couple of points, enough to edge out Petar and Andrea Muzi. 
Here you can see why Mohamed Shaban is in strong second, as Chris Cormier said in his live stream, and that size. He's simply dwarfing, for example, Tonio Burden, who has an amazing shape, amazing conditioning, but he's simply lacking size compared to Mohamed. And even though Mohamed is dwarfing uh, Charles Griffin's legs, and overall he's probably bigger, uh, Charles Griffin is just big enough and shredded, quite, quite shredded. On the left, you're gonna see Patrick Launcher, and this is why I love his physique. In a couple of shots, he looks really, really good. He kind of reminds me, in a sense, of Ian Valier, because he has a couple of killer shots, such as this most muscular. He probably looks the most impressive here, but the most muscular is not opposed, it's gonna win you a show. There are other shots that are much more important, and he looks good in most of them, but just not that good. I can see him in fourth, best case scenario, this show, but this is his comeback, he's gonna do a Puerto Rico Pro next week, maybe the lineup is gonna be a little bit easier, because this was a really tough lineup, maybe not, we'll see, but this is his comeback, and if he keeps, if he continues really trying hard and getting better, he will eventually get that Olympia qualification, but maybe not today. I think it's pretty safe to say that this is your top four, but we'll see, there is there is still time until finals and things can change, whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.